Hello online crew, it's time to celebrate some winners. Today's live is about announcing and acknowledging those people that took the plunge and participated on a 30 day Facebook live video challenge. And there are a number of people that not only took the challenge, they completed the challenge. And then there's a number of people that not only completed the challenge, but they got enough points to be on the leaderboard. Hello, Vivi, how are you? Hello, Laura, how are you going? So we're here to celebrate. My glasses are empty, but just imagine that they are filled. So we are here to celebrate. Hello, Jennifer, top fan you, how are you? Hello, Andrew, how are you going? So welcome, welcome. Oh, Sean, you're still awake. <laughs> Thank you for saying hello to Henry. Hello, Mary. Good to see you all jumping on. Now my, um, hello, Olive. Uh, great to see you. Hello, Julie. You made my life today. Awesome to see you on. Now I do want to um, live whilst working. Cool, Heather. Great to see you on. Hello, Rob. Now, Rob and Sean, anybody in the UK, my biggest apologies to you. Watching live, hello all video, hello Anna, hello Barbara. My big apologies to, yeah, I know, <laughs> I need to fill them up, Jen. <laughs> hello Crystal, how are you? Um, my big apologies to the UK crew. Um, I had to change the timing of my live uh, because the webinar that I hosted uh, for some students regarding Facebook advertising um, the time change because of our daylight savings, it was an hour different to what it was previously. So just a adjustment of daylight savings here in Australia put the timing out. So I do apologize for that. Hello, Vince. How are you? Good to see you jump on. So please say hello. Hello, Punch and Judy. How are you? Hey, Aore. Lovely to see you. Good to talk to you. Was that yesterday? I can't remember. Uh, so we're here to celebrate um, those in the video challenge. That's the purpose of our live today. Um, so if we've not met before, my name is Helen Martin. I'm your online crew captain. So I represent the most awesome community here of home-based business owners. So that could be a small business owner, entrepreneur, network marketer, direct seller, anybody in um, you know multi-level uh, marketing. So what we're here to do is to learn how to leverage social media to build our business with modern online strategies. So we don't want to chase anybody about our business. We want to learn how to utilize social media to truly attract people to us so we're not chasing anybody um, you know it happens through attraction marketing strategies so that's what we're here to do um, Charlene you've nearly done the 30 days that's awesome so there are some people that there was a start and a finish date for the video challenge we've just completed for those of you that are unaware we've just completed a 30-day Facebook live video challenge which is huge huge now a lot of people didn't even start there are a lot of people that entered the group that didn't even go live on day one. There were a lot of people that started and, you know, got three quarters of the way through and just didn't quite finish off for, you know, one one reason, um, you know, or another. Thank you, Ayuro, for your lovely comment. That's awesome. Um, and there's some people that sort of started five days and then didn't go any further, etc., etc. In my mind, anybody that did a Facebook Live in the video challenge that had not done a Facebook Live previously to the challenge, you're all winners. Um, like everybody that went live is, um, you know, I'm just so proud of you for doing that. It is not necessarily an easy thing to go live. Um, it takes a lot of guts. And when you haven't done it before, often there's a lot of fear around it. There can be nerves, you know, you're pushing the button going like that, or you're sweating, your heart's racing. Like until you do more of them, it, it can sometimes be daunting, um, you know, going live. But yes, Vivi, you're all winners. Um, how you going? Jen um, so yeah everybody's a winner in my mind that even if you did one live that you hadn't done before now there are there were out of well, like we had almost 200 people in the group there was a huge number in there that uh, didn't go live at all according to the tracker so there might have people been people that went live that just weren't tracking for points and I wouldn't know there are 34 people out of 
um, you know, all of the people in the group that actually were on the tracker, tracking for points and prizes and did, uh, you know, all 30 days. So there are more people that did almost 30 days. So there's a lot more people that just missed a he day here, there, you know, what, um, you know, etc. So there's a large number of people that did majority, but not you know, not all 30, but there were 34. Hello, Tina. How are you? Hey, Edith. There were 34 people um, that actually completed every single day of uh, the 30 days. Hey, Gabor. How are you? Taking a break from work. So I have to get through this um, while he's on a break. <laughs> uh, so, hey, Andrew. How are you? So what I'm going to do, um, and there are people that I know did the challenge that didn't track for points at all. Um, so there were more people that actually completed it, but were not tracking, um, you know, for points as such. So well done to everybody. It's a huge thing doing live video. The only way you get better at live video is just doing it over and over again. So those of you that did the video challenge, hey, Patricia, please don't stop. The longer you stop, the harder it's going to get back to get back on the wagon. So um, the future of I don't know how many times I have to sort of say this and reiterate it, but the future of you know your home based business on social media is is um, you know going live. It's doing live video. There is no more powerful way for people to get to know you, know your personality, build a relationship with you, even though it's through a screen. Um, you know, and really get to trust you, if you like, than through live video. So if you're not doing live video, people are watching somebody else and not you. So if you want to be ahead of the game, if you want to take advantage of what social media gives you, it's all for free. You can do a live video for free. So you can really maximize your potential on social media by going live. So if you, if there's anybody listening that hasn't, oh, good boy, you're doing two lives a week already. Awesome. That's so cool. So the thing about the 30 day challenge is it does create a habit. So I've done a 14 day. Oh, you did a live earlier too, Sean. I thought you were taking a big break, Sean. Very proud of you. That's awesome. Uh, we need to do some live videos on Instagram. Yeah, do them every, anywhere, <laughs> everywhere. Just go live. Um, so if you're on multiple platforms, um, you know you can certainly uh, utilize uh, you know that opportunity as well. Um, hey Barbara, how are you? So what I'm going to go through. Obviously, I can't go through all the names of everybody that um, was on, in the video challenge or everybody that completed um, the video challenge. But what I am going to go through. Oh, you went live today and yesterday, Vivi. Look at you guys go. That's awesome. Ida's been live the last two uh, two days. That's so cool. Hey. Suzanne, how are you? Good to see you jump on. Uh, now I'm majorly proud of you. That's awesome. You know, for those of you, most of you said you're going to take a break and you haven't. <laughs> and that's the beautiful, oh, Suzanne went live yesterday too. That's the beautiful thing and the difference about a 30 day Facebook live video challenge rather than like a 14 day Facebook live video challenge. Cause you actually get into the groove, you get into the habit and it's, 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 um, you know, it helps ingrain it as a new healthy habit for your business. We did one this morning on our bikes going live on Thursday. Awesome, Judy and Bob. No breaks for everybody's going live. You've been live for three days. Oh my gosh, you guys are legends. So what I'm going to read out is the top 15. So um, yeah, I'd be here forever if I read everyone's names, but please know, seriously, I think this was, um, hey Jody, how are you? And so and Hayden said hi to Henry. Thanks Hayden. Thank you for saying hello to Henry over here. That's awesome. Uh, Andrew's been live. That Yeah, everybody's on a roll. That's so crazy. So I can't read out everybody's name, but I do want to let you know that seriously, this has been the closest one. There's like literally one point between people. Definitely the top three. And the top three will get prizes for me. Hey, Sashi, how are you? Um, prizes like video equipment and I'll be in contact with you about that about what you need what you got what you haven't got and we'll tailor that to you and also hey Judy the winner the overall winner who got the most points will get an interview I will be interviewing them here on my page um, either next week or the week after depending on timing and stuff like that so that'll be pretty cool for that person 
to get some good exposure and share their experience. So um, I'm going to go through the top 15 and I'm going to go backwards. So I'll start at number 15 and then uh, work my way up. But I do want to reiterate, there is literally from 15 up, there is literally like one one point climbing up between you guys. So although there's like 15 people, it's like, you, you know, you, you almost could have won. You were like one point away from winning and vice versa, okay? And there are two spots, number eight and number 12, where there are two people that, um, so you had, you know, even amount of points. So we ready. Are you ready for the names? Do you want to know? Ching, ching, cheers. Okay. So number 15, brrr, I need a drum roll. Where are my kids? They're both, they're both out playing with their friends. So number 15, on live with us today. Gabor was number 15. So proud of you, uh, Gabor. In, um, oh, the hubby and kids are watching as well. Hey, hubby and kids, how are you? That was Crystal that said that. Um, love the energy on your lives, Gabor. Love it when you're in your car, you got the music playing. Your vibe on uh, live video uh, was really cool. You've got personality, you've got pizzazz, you're just somebody that you just need to watch. <laughs> So I hope you're really proud of yourself. You did a really good job and um, I found you really enter entertaining. It was pretty cool. So well done. Well done. Number 14, also on live, I saw your name pop up, is Suzanne Horton was number 14. So congratulations, girl. Very consistent, obviously. Great information regarding, you know, helping network marketers and that online. So um, fabulous job. You came in number 14. So well done. Uh, awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good voices. No, you should be, you should be proud. Like you think of all the people that, um, you know, started and stopped or didn't start at all or got three quarters of the way through and then life got in the way or went and over you. Did you finish it, Gabor? You came 15th out of all those people. So um, so let's not forget we've got Suzanne there for um, number 14. So congratulations, very proud of you. It was awesome. And you had some great dual lives there um, too. So number 13, I'm not sure if they're live. I don't think they're live on with us. So somebody, if you know them, if you can tag them into this video, is Courtney and Bobby. So Courtney and Bobby went on the lives majority of the time together. They did do some, um, you know, that was separate, but they really threw themselves into it, even at the end when it got a little bit tough for them for various, um, you know, reasons. They just kept at it and kept going, and I'm really proud of them. They did cool videos like, I don't know if you caught this one, guys, that were fellow challenges, the taste test one, where they um, blindfolded each other and had little things of food, and uh, the person didn't know what they, and they just had to taste test it, and uh, it was really funny. It was just something a little bit different. So congratulations for Courtney and Bobby to coming in at number 13. Um, awesome effort, guys. Number 12 on live with us, the beautiful and amazing Laura Fewer. Laura, congratulations, you are number 12 and I can't wait to meet you in, um, in Vegas in uh you know the end of may so well done laura laura you always put in um you know great effort into your content and gave really good information um you know on your lives so well done laura proud of you number 11 legend in his own lunchbox huge supporter of this community great helper to people in this community so much growth over so much growth over you know just really six months is the amazing sean clark so sean you came in at number 11 you you're just amazing for so many reasons um you do it every day whether you felt like it or not i mean all these people did whether they felt like it or not they just did it anyway not every day is wonderful and we feel like doing it but just getting the job done and sean you did that and even what I really enjoyed seeing with you, Sean, is um, more of you. 
is really seeing Sean's personality come out and laughing and just being so much more comfortable, um, you know, with on camera, um, just being more of, you know, and being more of awesome Sean. So um, every challenge Sean has been on, I just think has just gone up a level and up a level and up a level. And I think he even said himself on one of his last couple of videos is that it took him until challenge number three to really feel, you know, more himself on video. I think that's kind of the words that you said, Sean. Is that correct? Correct me if I'm if I'm wrong, Sean. But massive growth. Number ten, we've got two two equal points for number ten. So that's Iora. Is, are you still on Iora? So equal tenth with Joanna Steele. So well done, ladies. You are equal tenth. So that's Iora and Joanna. Um, Iora is very bubbly and full of energy on her live videos. Um, she's very passionate about helping moms, and you know that came across in the videos. Joanna's always fun to watch on live videos and had great information on a variety of topics, particularly sort of in the in the health, um, you know, health sort of space in various areas. What did you say there, Sean? The third challenge helped me find myself. Wow, that's that's pretty profound, actually, Sean. And I, I would like to, um, you know, share Sean's, you know, the meaning of Sean's comment there. Um, yeah, if someone could tag um, Joanna as well. Oh, I think somebody just did. Is, um, you know, what, what am I trying to say? I've completely forgotten what I was going to say. What did you say, Sean? <laughs> I got distracted. What did you say again? Where is it? So the third challenge help. Yeah. So just because you do one video challenge, it's seriously, it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning of a journey of live video where you will just grow and grow and grow, but not only grow, like Sean has sort of found what he wanted to do and he started a Facebook group and he's sort of found what his groove in a groove is and feeling more comfortable and talking on camera. Like it takes a lot of practice and a lot of time to really find yourself on live video and social media. So the more that you throw yourself in there, the, the more that you just could do it and get the job done and just be more genuinely, authentically you, um, you know, you'll find your tribe. And you'll find what you like to talk about and what people like to hear from you. So it's not just about your growth and getting over the fear. It's truly about finding your brand. It's truly about, you know, working out what resonates with you more than other things to talk about. So you actually grow and develop into whatever your brand is going to be on social media the more you do it. Okay. Uh, so number nine He's been labeled dad in the community. You might know who I'm talking about. It's Rob Clark, number nine. Rob's always shown up. It's, uh, so what is it now, guys? Is it 2 a.m. for you in the UK at the moment or is it even later than that? Um, so they, Rob and Sean, both in the UK, they just show up. They're so committed to their personal growth and journey. Um, you know, and their Facebook Live, you know, whenever they're doing the challenges, the content that they're bringing, they just do it and get the job done. And they're always there supporting each other and supporting other people in the community as well. Um, so, yep, <laughs> Rob, you are dad. So there's lots of people that have labeled Rob in the community. Oh, so it's 3 a.m. Yeah, I, yeah. So it, check that out, guys. Like, who would be listening to me at 3 a.m. in the morning in the UK? <laughs> Sean and Rob are, so uh, you have to give them the emoji, the, the, the congratulations emoji, like a clap of the hands there. You guys are incredible. And, um, you know, number nine, Rob, you, you deserve that. Rob has been in previous challenges and both Sean and Rob have been in the top three, you know, positions before. Um, so they, you know, they've just done amazingly in, in all the challenges. Number eight, we have equal tied again at number eight. We have Crystal Ricassi at number eight, equal with Nicole Hunter. So well done, ladies. Number eight, Crystal did amazing things in her videos. She even sang on one of her live videos. Like, who would have the guts to do that? It's, it's hard, isn't it hard enough to talk? <laughs> 
on live video, let alone, um, you know, actually sort of sing. So huge effort there, Crystal. And I know that you spoke about a lot of topics to do with what you're passionate about, um, you know, and has shared a lot of really awesome material, um, you know, on your live. So well done, Crystal. Nicole is always there sharing good value and she's grown, um, you know, so much. Sorry guys, I just got a phone call. <laughs> so a little interruption there. But Nicole's been on previous video challenges, um, you know, as well. And she's just, you can tell her in her personality and she's smiling at the end and being more of herself. So um, Andrew, if Nicole's not listening, you need to tag her, uh, tag her in the video. Um, now number seven, number seven, we have Helen Elix. Now, Helen is, she's just lovely. She's just, I don't know, she's always there. Um, she's a wealth of information. She's got a great background in not only sort of health, but business as well. And she brought a lot of that to the table. And just, you know, just, I don't know, great lady, great lady. That's what I can say. So congratulations, Helen. Um, great to see you at number seven. <clears throat> Excuse me, number six, Andrew Hunter. So Andrew was actually a, a second. Is that right, Andrew? I'm pretty sure it was second in our previous video challenge. So he's already been in the top three. And Andrew has grown and he got a cool piece of equipment that is used this time round um, from um, coming second in the last one. And Andrew as well. It's just the more that you see... Um, the more that you do them, um, and I see these guys in the video challenges, is you ju I just see more you. And when we see more of you, it's easier to relate to these people. So Andrew's, she's, he's grown again. I'm not sure if Andrew's still on. Um, but I can see more of your personality and ease with live video the more that you do, Andrew. So well done. <coughs> Excuse me, talking too much. Number five is the amazing, the beautiful, the talented, the very helpful, the funny, the entertaining, Vivi Kabasa. <laughs> there is only one Vivi. She's unique. She's special. She's helpful to me and the community. She jumped into this challenge and did live videos for you guys, you know, sorting out troubleshooting, um, you know, issues to do with uh, live video, um, you know, etc. So, Vivi, you're just amazing. Um, I've said this before, those of you that haven't heard it, I had a Zoom call with Vivi. A number of months ago, I can't remember how long ago now, Vivi, but she was just this shy, believe it or not, this shy little timid girl who was trying to find her way, wanted to grow a business, but just didn't really know how, was a bit confused about a few things. And now look at her, she's like a breath of fresh air on live video, she's got kids screaming around her, goes live anyway, and you're just really finding your groove, Vivi. So, um, I was at only November, last year is that yeah wow so there you go so the growth in vivi um well so many of you i mean crystal's the same i mean just coming out of your shell but um you know vivi's rebranded a facebook page she started a new one she's got a mum talk now like she's growing and developing in a very short space of time and i hope you're very proud of yourself vivi uh, very proud of yourself. And like I said, like seriously, when we're getting up to these top ones, there's literally like one point. And so everybody is up there in the same bracket of points. It's just a slither separating these people. Um, so that includes you, um, you know, Vivi, obviously. So number four, number four, we have, and I believe, she, hopefully she's still on live, is Barb Meyer. So Barbara, Barb, Congratulations. I hope you are extremely proud of yourself for your efforts on live video and going live every day and accepting the challenges that I put forward to you and doing them and getting them done. I'm very, you know, very pleased to see your name up there and I hope that you're really excited that you came like fourth out of all the people that, you know, that participated in the challenge, remembering a lot didn't finish and you came forth. So awesome, awesome, awesome effort. 
Number three. Oh, I can't remember if she's on live or not. I don't know. I, did I see her name? I'm not sure. So number three, great. Uh, what can I say about this person? So this person, yeah, no, she's definitely on live. I said to her, hello to her earlier. She's just somebody that's just embraced what I'm teaching. Um, just come into it going, I want to learn and very, very coachable and just just grasps things and just does them. There's no complaints, just does them. Heaps of questions, just great action taker and I can see a great future in the online world. And that's Olive Dodd. So Olive, uh, be very proud of being third, coming third. Um, consistency, I mean, I can't fault your guys' consistency because you all did it. You all did the 30 days. You all bought really good value um, you know, to your lives and put thought behind it. And so there's just so many good things to say about you guys that are that are all in, in, in you know, the top 15. What's separating just these two, these people is that the challenges that I set, some of them had more points than others and some of them, you know, just did one little maybe extra thing and a day that somebody missed or something like that. Like there's just really nothing in it. But Olive, um, it's a pleasure to have you in the community here. You're a doer. You you just want to learn. Um, you want to do the best that you can online. And I just love having you in the community. So congratulations, Olive. Number two, number two, little surprise packet number two. We have... Judy and Bob, Punch and Judy. Guys, you came second. Are you falling off your chair right now? <laughs> so Bob and Judy are new to this community here, but they just embraced everything I threw at them, as you all did. But the consistency was amazing. Their personality on live video is amazing. You guys are made for live video. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but I don't think you'd gone live. Oh, you're on the floor. <laughs> I don't think you'd gone live before this video challenge. Is that correct, Judy and Bob? Let me know in the comments section. So just not only new to the community, but new to the online world. So, um, you know, somebody sort of recommended them uh, to me and got in touch with the community and just started poking around and it's like, oh, I, I don't know about this stuff, but we'll sort of have a look at it and see how we go. And there they go, jumping on the video challenge pretty much straight away. And I did, so, okay, they've never gone live before this video challenge and now you came second. How does that feel, guys? Let me know how that feels because... You guys have got so much personality. You're fun to watch. You did everything I threw at you to a T, basically. So, um, yeah, I just so proud of you guys. So proud of you guys. And I think I've got a call with you guys tonight, actually. So I can congr congr congratulate you more on screen tonight in our neck of the woods. Um, now, who's number one? Who is number one? Who takes the uh, Who takes the the prize? So another little surprise packet has been on my video challenge before. Consistency was amazing. Growth was amazing. Comfort on screen. Um, just, you know, just, yeah. Congratulations to Julie McNamara. Julie, you came first. Julie, <laughs> I know you're on screen because I saw your name come up. So you won. And as I said, but like they like there's slithers of points within you know the whole fifteen guys, slithers of points. So she just um, we struggled so much. What we uh, I've it's lost. You str you struggled somewhere along the way, Judy and Bob, but you pushed through it. So congratulations, Julie. Julie has been on a video challenge before, and um, yeah, just fully took it on board. Wow, yippee. 
it's all thanks to your coaching and this great supportive community. So congratu congratulations, Julie. Um, you know, just just pipped, you know, a few people in those, you know, top five there, just enough points to get you into the winning spot. But honestly, um, you know, and I found your, you know, your gigs obviously travel and, you know, you had really good tips and value to bring on your live videos and they were interesting to watch. And you've definitely grown and become more comfortable in front of, um, you know, in front of the camera. So great, great, great job. So there you have it, guys. There's the top 15. And there was, there is, there were so many names that were like 16 and 17 and 18. And like, they're just right there. And, you know, got people that are regular in this community, but I, I can't read out all the names, but I'm just so, so proud of everybody that completed the challenge. Hopefully you guys that embraced this experience. Um, like I'm, Pretty sure, Edith, you were one of the ones on the, the cusp. Um, yeah, there were so many beautiful names that um, really took on and completed the 30 days that were just, just fell out of the top 15. But uh, it's not really for me, um, and I hope for you, it's not really about the points and the prizes. It's, it's not. It's so much more than that. It's about not only conquering your fear of live video and getting really comfortable about being you on live video and your, you know, your growth. It's um, about finding who you are on live video. It's about connecting with like-minded people in a community that you will probably stay with connected with for a long time. So it's so much more than just a live video challenge. Uh, what it can do for you, your growth, your um, business moving forward, continuing to do live video, really learning about branding and attraction marketing and um, you know what it takes to be successful online and consistency and leading with value and not your wallet and all the things that I've taught you and all the technical tips that I taught in that live video challenge. Um, yeah, it's just so much more than a live video challenge. So, you know, I hope you see it that way, guys. Those of you that um, participated in the challenge, those of you that maybe didn't get in the top 15, you're all winners, especially if you were, um, you know, you know in your mind you were one of those 34 people that completed all 30 days. Please give yourself a huge acknowledgement and pat on the back for getting the job done because most people don't. You think about how many people were in the group. There was almost 200 people in the group. Most people don't finish. So if you're one of those 34 people that actually finished every single day of the challenge, it's not about points and prizes really. It's about all of you actually getting the job done and you can put your hand on heart and say, I did it. I made a commitment to do it. It was difficult <laughs> a lot of the times. I don't doubt there were many days where you went, I don't know what to talk about. I, don't, I just don't know what to talk about today. I don't know what value to bring. I don't feel like it. I don't look good. I don't, I don't have the energy. It's been a long day, but you did it anyway. Um, so congratulations. Just, you know, you should be so, so, so proud, um, you know, of, of all of that. And for those of you, like you think of Punch and Judy, Judy and Bob, never done a live video before, very new to my community here, and they've come second. Like, how cool is that? You guys should be very, very proud, and this is just the beginning of all your journeys with live video um, and building a business online. Those of you that, um, yes, you did it, Gabor, you're quite right. Um, those of you that are sitting listening to the replay of this or even live now that have not done a live video before or that you started the video challenge and didn't complete it, please don't look back. Only ever look forward. If you started the video challenge and you didn't complete it, failure is not a word we want to use or if we use it, I don't see failure as a bad thing. I see it as a lesson to know what to do better next time. So, okay, maybe you started it and you didn't finish it or you almost got there and then life got in the way. It's it's gone. It's in the past. Remember my video from yesterday from those of you that, that watched it? Change only happens now. You can't change the past and you can't actually change the future because it hasn't happened yet. The only time you can change and reevaluate and reassess and think what you're going to do better the next time is here and now. 
okay? So don't ever look back, just look forward and what you're gonna do with live video and if another challenge comes up, hmm, <laughs> am I going to run another video challenge? I actually, I've got nothing to announce there because I don't know, more than likely yes, when I'm not sure. It certainly won't be before I go um, get back from overseas when I go to Vegas. So maybe perhaps when I get back, we'll line one up then. I'm not sure. If you want to participate on one or you think you would participate on one, if I did another one, um, just put the word video down below and give me an indication of um, you know who would like to participate on one if I did another one or potentially recommend to somebody else to um, participate because you know the value of doing it yourselves. So um, Gabor's already there. Edith is there. Look at that. Look at the go. So, you know, everybody needs a break from something like this, um, you know, including me. But um, what can tend to happen, and I'm not preempting this for yourselves. Um, yes, you are. We heard the rumors. Okay. <laughs> Good point, Rob. Um, oh, I've got to stop reading comments and losing my train of thought. Oh, it's gone. It was going to be good too, whatever it was, I'm sure. Um, it doesn't matter. If I keep talking, it'll, it'll come back to me. Um, oh, that's, you see, it's come back to me already. Um, thank you. So there are people that finish like video challenges before and had every intention and even announced publicly, I'm going to go live in a couple of weeks. So I'm going to have a couple of weeks off and then I'll go live and never did until I ran another video challenge. And I don't wanna say that that's your journey, but it is possible when you're on your own, it's easy to let yourself down. Does that make sense? So when it's just a commitment to you, yeah, I'll go live three days a week, but it's only really up to you. If you don't go live three days a week, then it doesn't really matter. It's very different when you're out on your own in the big wide world than doing it in a scenario like a video challenge where you're supported, you've got direction, you're getting training and you're growing and you're doing it as a community. So I don't want you to stop doing live video between now, those of you that have participated and the next one I do, but um, know that, you know, I probably will do another one that you can jump back on if you lose that consistency. So 30 days is enough to create a habit, but unless you keep the habit going, it is you can lose the habit as quick as you gained the habit, if that makes sense. So try not to... Um, Try not to fall off the wagon. And as I said, those of you that didn't complete it, didn't quite get there, don't don't kick yourself up the butt, you know, worry about what's happened in the past. Just concentrate on what you want to do for the future. Okay, that's where we need to concentrate um, our efforts. Uh, it feels good to keep going. Yeah, and those and obviously at the beginning of this video, there's so many of you saying you've already gone live. So it's good to see that you are continuing to go live. So congratulations to everybody that finished. Um, congratulations to the top 15 that I mentioned, but even 16 and 17 and 18, I mean, everybody has just done an amazing job. Those of you that were in the top three, I will, um, Sean, I'm planning to go live as much as I can, even if I don't have um, much to deliver. So it's just really being authentically you, which I, you know, Sean, you can you can do that now more than you have done in the past. So that's pretty cool. So those in the top three, you will be hearing from me. I will send you a personal message regarding how we get you your prizes. Julie, I will be in contact with you to work out mutual sort of time um, that we can coordinate a live here on my page and bring you on screen as so you can share your experience with the video challenge and anything that you want to share with the big wide world of the internet so um, yeah I will be messaging um, you guys uh, Margaret you've gone live too as promised oh it's so cool to see so many of um, so many of you continuing to go live it's just awesome because um, I've told you the stats many times, if you've watched a number of my videos, the future of live video, the future of people's purchasing decisions and buying decisions is going to be through live video, um, you know, moving forward. So get on the front foot, be a leader rather than a follower. Um, you know, be a leader with live video and just continue to do it. And, you know, if somebody can start watching you rather than, you know, watching somebody else. And as I said, if you're not there doing it yourself, then their, their attention is on somebody else. You want people's attention online to be on you. Okay. Edith, I'm going live on my daily walks now for the next 30 days. Are you doing another 30 days, Edith? 
Oh my gosh, that's incredible. You guys are amazing. You guys are absolutely amazing. So thank you for being here with me live or those of you um, you know, on the, on the replay. I'll follow up with our top three there. We'll get those things underway. So just wait for a message um, you know, from me and it'll be business back to usual tomorrow um, on my live. So I'll see you norm back to normal time. And thank you for your patience, particularly, I mean, those of you got watching the replay, it doesn't matter. But those of you that are here with me live at the moment, particularly in the UK where it's you know roughly probably about 3 30 in the morning or so now so well done for being on with me live I truly appreciate all of you congratulations to everybody that participated in the video challenge you rock okay so I will talk to you tomorrow bye